Hello, hello everyone. My name is Janae and you're watching Diamond Painting Reviews by Janae. A big hello to all of you and for those of you that are new to my channel or just stopping by a big howdy and welcome to my YouTube family and for those of you that are returning what's up I hope you're all doing very well today and today I have a very special unboxing it's gonna be a little bit different but special nevertheless and stay tuned to the end because we're going to be doing a full post review on this particular image so which image is it this image comes from Capture by Radiance, and the image name is Sunlit Sanctuary. The artist is Adrian Chesterman, and this is a beautiful diamond painting. But I will tell you this, this came out in March of this last year, and it only came in rounds. Now it's back. We sold out of Sunlit Sanctuary quite quickly. So when we went back into production, we brought back Sunlit Sanctuary in rounds and squares. But unfortunately, the square kits still have not arrived. Thanks to UPS. But we won't go there. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to show you the difference between the first release and the new release. So with Capture by Radiance, this last release, there are some things that have come back, some things that have changed, and some things that are new. And we're gonna show all of that to you. But stay tuned at the end because we're gonna do that full post review on this particular image. So let's go ahead and move this one over to the side and we're gonna open up this one. This one is the new release. And this is a 60 by 80. It's a full round. As I said, unfortunately, the squares have not arrived. Um, UPS seems to have lost about 36 of my kits, and I'm not sure why. <laughs> so right now they're under investigation, and we're hoping that they will arrive soon. And like I said, unfortunately, the squares for Sunlit Sanctuary is one of the kits that is under investigation. <laughs> So let's go ahead and take a look at this one because this one here has all of the features of the square ones. It's just in rounds. So it comes in this beautiful green organza bag. And these bags are really nice. You can repurpose these. Um, they're just a really nice bag to have. And we'll just put this off to the side here. And I'm just going to roll it image down grab everything here so that way we can roll this the opposite direction okay so the canvases are a velvet cotton short lint. Very nice and soft to the touch in the back. Scalloped edged all around and it does have where they have punctured around the edges too and that does help keep the canvas from fraying. Poured glue and as I said, rounds and squares. And here is the image. Oops. This is a gorgeous image. If you guys haven't seen it, it is really, really pretty and simply a joy to work on. Has those big, beautiful orcas there in the center, and then you've got your coral reef there down below. So, I'm going to bring out, well, first of all, let's take a look at the goodies first. So what has come back is basically in our toolkits. In the original 
releases that we did when we first opened Capture by Radiance, we offered a cover minder and now the cover minders are back. The reason why the cover minders were not in the last release, of all things, I could not find magnets. They were just, the sizes that I needed were just unavailable and I couldn't find them. So we weren't able to put cover minders in the last release. But now that I've got the magnets again, we are now bringing in cover minders. So here is this beautiful shell. Isn't that gorgeous? And also too, if you guys have purchased a kit and have received a cover minder, make sure that you look underneath the matting because that's where your second magnet's gonna be. We use a very strong industrial magnet for these cover minders. And as I said, look underneath the matting because that's where they seem to go behind once um, they start moving around. So again, the cover minders are back. And let's just take a look quickly at the toolkit. Bring it all out. So you get your white tray with a spout, a pair of heavy duty tweezers, and these guys are the sharp ones, so be very, very careful with these. See if the camera will focus. Very, very sharp. Make sure you put the plastic tip back on when you're not using it. That way it saves you from going to the emergency room. Um, single place pin, comfort grip, You get two multi-placers. They are the thin ones. So you get the four and the seven. A business card. Come on camera, focus, focus. There it goes, sorry about that guys. And then on the back, it also gives you a code for your next purchase. And you also get a diamond sticker. Also in the kit is a wax caddy with some blue wax. And the new thing in our tool kits is we've put in customized washi tape. And guys, this is a huge roll of washi tape. It is definitely going to accommodate the painting and then some. So it depends on how you use your washi tape. I use it as a guide when I'm working in sections and then sometimes I'll use it for the border, but the majority of the time it's just as a guide when I'm working on my project. But look at this, isn't this? Hopefully you guys can see it. It's beautiful and you've got um, sailboats out there. There's some birds in there in the sky. It's really, really nice. And the tape is really easy to work with. Love it. So we're really happy to be bringing in the washi tape if there's anything that you guys would like to see added to our toolkits, just let us know. We would love to know. And we will do anything that we can, if it's possible, to get them in. So if there's something that you would like to see added to the toolkits, we would love to hear from you. So that is our toolkit. I'm just going to put this down here. In our last release, we had inventory sheets. We were hoping for the uh, sticker schematic type. Um, unfortunately, we just got a plain piece of paper, which, you know, I mean, it's okay, but it would have been nice if it was sticker paper or labels. So this time I was able to speak with the manufacturer and we kind of got an understanding of what I was looking for. It's not quite exactly what I was hoping for, but it's better than nothing. And that is the uh, inventory sheet is now on sticker paper. And you would be able to cut out the DNC codes and put these on your storage container systems, or you can put them on the Ziploc bags. There is that beautiful image again. And below the image is the information on this canvas. So again, Sunlit Sanctuary by Adrian Chesterman. And it is a 60 by 80 full round. 
all of our social media sitting right there and then we have the steps to diamond painting the schematic is over here and again you can cut all of that out and they can be stuck on your storage containers or your Ziploc bags, whichever you choose to do. Um, you can actually cut out the thumbnail as well and put that in a journal if you keep everything in a journal. So that is new. We're hoping that the next round that we can actually get pull away labels. Keeping our fingers crossed. We're, we're making some progress. <laughs> Um, with the communication between us and the manufacturer. So here are the drills. Isn't that a beautiful color palette? Look at that. Love these colors. Very, very bright and vibrant. Love them. So let's go ahead and take a look. So let's go ahead and use this one here. And we're going to look at Some of these colors and oh my god that ab just keeps jumping right out at me so let's take a look isn't this a beautiful beautiful blue and again i'm hoping there we go that my camera will focus and we can get that glare out but look at that isn't that gorgeous and that's the ab just a beautiful color but we want to look at what I call the problem child, and that is 310 or 939. So let's take a look at both of them. Or does this have 310 in it? I don't remember, it should have 310 in it. It looks like it's all 939. Do you have 310? Actually, this doesn't have 310. Okay. <laughs> and here I've done this painting before. I thought it had 310 in it. So let's pour the 939 out. Again, these are the rounds. And this tray is really warped. I don't like this tray. Okay, so I'm going to bring this up. And hopefully the camera will, there it goes. Aren't those just gorgeous? Look at the shimmer and shine on those drills. Very, very pretty. And again, very nice, very uniformed, very consistent. These are just amazing round drills. If I had any complaint is the static in these Ziploc bags. That I can complain about, but, um, it's really kind of hard to tell if you're going to get static or not in Ziploc bags. Come on. So that's the one thing I, I will say annoys me. And some people say I'm picky. Yes, I am. <laughs> I can be very picky when it comes to, down to it. So you know what, guys? What I'm going to do, I can see my big white tray now. So I'm just going to go over there and grab it. And I just, I don't know, I feel much more comfortable with the big tray than I do with the small tray. So let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful, beautiful blue. This is 820 and oh wow, is this gorgeous. So let's take a look at this one. This one doesn't seem to be staticky at all. Okay. I guess it just depends. But oh my god, look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? And that is 820. Beautiful sparkle on them. Nice flat backs. Let me just get that up there. And hopefully the camera is focusing in really well on those beautiful so that is 820 get these back in the drill or in the uh, ziploc bags come on all 
All right, so those are the rounds, and they're just some amazing, bright, vibrant colors in here. I just want to show you this color here, too. Now, I'm not going to pour it out in the um, tray, but this is 996, and look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And again, my camera is just being finicky. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that sparkle. Wow. Okay. So let's go ahead and put these back. Now all of our kits, either round or square, has four ABs. And this kit has that really beautiful dark blue AB, a red AB, or 666. There we go. 701 and is it 444. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And they're right there in the front. All right. Also, I just wanted to point out too that on the bags of drills, there is the serial number to the kit as well. So you can store these drills away from the kit itself. All you have to do is match it up with the serial number on your painting. And it also, does it say? No, it doesn't say the name of the kit, but the serial number is definitely on there. So that's really nice to have as well. Okay, so I'm gonna put the tool kit there and we're going to move the drills there put that away and we're going to put this way now the reason why i have the older kit is i want to show you the difference between the first release and the new charted canvas i think i got the right canvas <laughs> Yes. All right. So let's go ahead and make sure that we straighten this out first. So we're going to roll this the opposite direction. Again, that really nice soft back there. Another thing about this canvas, it, it is self-straightening. So if you decide that you want to just let it straighten out on its own, just um, put it down, image down, and walk away from it, and it will start slowly straightening itself out. You don't necessarily have to roll it the opposite direction. Okay, so we're just going to give this a little bit of time. And there we go. All right. So they look pretty much the same. But there is a couple of differences in this canvas, and that's what I want to show you. First of all, I'm going to uh, zoom the camera in so that I can hopefully get you down a little bit closer to the canvas. Oops, without jiggling the camera. There we go. And let's go ahead and take a look at the charting with this one. And that's, of course, if my camera's going to... There we go. So see the arrow up symbols. You also have the spade symbol right there. When I did this painting, that was a problem. And the only reason why I say that is because the symbol similarities and having that background color being dark... It really was hard, especially when I was working on a canvas long term. It was really hard sometimes to not mistakenly put the wrong color on those symbols. So that was one thing I talked about with the manufacturer is to try and get those symbol similarities out. And what they did is they sent me a chart of all of their symbols and they asked me to pick 60 of those symbols and that's what we've done 
So now we've completely recharted this particular image and let me show you now what it looks like. So this is the original and here is the new one. So we're going to look at the same exact area. Okay. And camera focus, focus, focus. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. Now it's focusing. Sorry about that. <laughs> Stubborn, I'm telling you. It's like my husband. Anyway, um, you didn't hear that. <laughs> So you can see that the charting has been redone. Instead of having the arrow up, now we have the box. And instead of the spade, now we have the uppercase H. So in our kits now, you're going to see a lot of symbols, but they're not going to be, hopefully, they're not going to be any similarities. So for instance, we have numbers one through nine, and we have uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and symbols. You will never see the uppercase B in our kits. And the reason for that is because it can get awfully confusing if it's sitting next to the number eight. So that's one example of the symbols and what we chose. So we're keeping our fingers crossed that the ones that we chose are going to be the ones that will be easy to see and easy to follow. So there is the new charting of Sunlit Sanctuary. Very, very easy to read. Symbols are crystal clear. All right, so let's put this down. Now there's one extra thing that's a little bit different in this kit and I'm going to show it to you now. So I'm just going to bring this down a little bit to see if we can get that in the camera. So our canvases have two schematics. We have one in the upper left hand corner and one in the lower right hand corner. Now. I have said this before, and if you guys have followed me for some time, you've heard me say this. I have a really small crafting table. It's not very big. And this canvas, this 60 by 80, takes my entire table and then some. So I always work on my canvases upside right, sideways, and upside down. I have been diamond painting since 2015 and I love big paintings. And one of the things that I constantly thought about, especially in 2017, 18 and 19 was it would really be nice if there was a schematic on the canvas that was upside down. And the reason for that is that way, if you're working on your canvas like I do, upside down and sideways, you're always going to have a schematic that you can go to and see upside right. Now, doing my research and looking around, we are the only store that offers a schematic that is upside down. So your lower right hand schematic, as you can see, is upside down. The really nice thing about this is not only will that schematic really help out for those that do work on their canvases sideways and upside down, but it also is a great tool for people that work on a canvas with a partner, let's say a spouse or one of their siblings, um, a friend. This is a great tool because one person could be working on the lower bottom part of the canvas and the other person can be working on the top part of the canvas and both people will see the schematic upside right. And that to me is really, really important and why we decided to do this. Now, as I said, I've been diamond painting since 2015 and owning my own diamond painting store was a dream of mine back in 2016. The reason why I didn't do it though, and I'm being honest, <laughs> my mother talked me out of it. And she's like, you know what, Janae, it's really not a good idea. People don't really know much about diamond painting and you don't want to jump into something that's not going to grow or is just a fad or a phase. 
in 2017, diamond painting really exploded. And I'm thinking to myself, Mom, I missed the bus, man. So anyway, the nice thing about waiting was the fact that I was able to do a lot of research and I was able to really work on some of the things that I felt would really help diamond painters. New diamond painters and diamond painters that have been out there for quite a while. So this is one thing that we decided to do this, this release. And in future releases, we may be applying new ideas to the canvases, but you'll have to stay tuned for that. All right. So what I'm going to do, everyone, is I'm going to pause the camera and I'm going to bring down the finished Sunlit Sanctuary and do a full post review. Stay tuned and I'll be right back. All right, everyone, we're back and here is the finished Sunlit Sanctuary. Again, this is from the original March release. Let's take a look at it. So here is the top portion where you see this beautiful amount of um, reflection of the sun coming down on the orcas. There is a couple of fish right there. And as you go down into the painting, you have um, jellyfish right here, it looks like, and some fish right through here, this beautiful orca right in here. And then you've got this smaller orca right here. Sorry, I moved it out of film. And then this gorgeous coral reef that is on the bottom. And there's lots of fish through here. Um, and also in through here. Now, what I want to point out is the amount of sparkle on this canvas. So I'm just going to bring this up. And you tell me what you think. Isn't that just gorgeous? Look at that sparkle on those drills. Just beautiful. Now, I will be honest, I do have um, 939 crystals in the orcas because I really wanted those orcas to pop. And I'll tell you, this is amazing when it's outside. It is just gorgeous. And let's bring the middle orca. Whoops in here so that you can see it a little bit easier. And the middle orca there, we have blue volcanoes in those. So those are the tricolor crystals. And depending on how you're looking at those crystals, you can get a blue, a violet, and a bit of red. But beautiful, beautiful crystals in that. And then the big guy, I put a lot of 939 crystals in there and also the ABs are sprinkled throughout the orcas as well. But isn't that just gorgeous? Look at that. And the sparkle is just amazing. Now the fish up here have some ABs in them as well, right on the tails, All right? But all in all, this is just an amazing, fun piece to do. And lots of ABs right here in the school of fish, as well as in the coral reef. Again, this is Sunlit Sanctuary by Adrian Chesterman from Capture by Radiance. What do you think about this finished piece? Also, let me know what you think about the new changes that we've made with the schematics and the charting. I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to hear about how you feel all of these changes and especially this completed. Now before we end, let's go over some of the pros and cons to this painting. Now for those of you that have been following me for some time, you know I'm going to tell you how it is. That's just the way I roll. I want to be upfront and honest, even with it being my store captured by Radiance. The cons to this painting, again, was the charting. I just found that the charting, especially in the areas that I showed you right up through here, where it just, you had the arrow up and then you had that spade. 
and it just made it so difficult. Those symbols were just too close to each other. There were a few other symbols that I felt could have been a little bit, instead of being in a dark background with a dark symbol or a black symbol, should have been a light symbol or a white symbol. And that's another thing that I've been working with the manufacturer on as well. So there's a lot of things in regards to the way it was charted before that I really focused on with the manufacturer and I'm hoping that doing all that work with them has produced a better and easier drill area to follow. So with that being said, oops, just rolling all over the place there. We're going to pull this up again. This is the new charted one. And if I'm looking at this, everything looks clear to me. I can see them, but we still do have some dark background with black symbols. So this would definitely require a light pad, at least in that area where it's a little bit darker. But I will say this. I don't see any symbols that I feel would cause any grief. And looking at the schematics, I'm just looking at them kind of quickly here. Yeah, I don't see any symbols that would even come close to being similar to each other. So anyway, again, guys, let me know what you think. I would love to hear from you. And also just want to say thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I greatly appreciate it. You guys are the best. I would love to hear your comments, your ideas, and even if you just want to say hello, I would love to hear from you. So with that being said, always remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and always stay happy. Again, my name's Janae, and thank you so much for spending me some time with me today, and we'll talk again real soon. Bye for now.